Hey guys, so TLS 1.2 handshake. Let me just get me my pen. All right, so TLS 1.2 handshake. So we are specifically talking about TLS 1.2 handshake because 1.3, there are subtle differences, right? So I'll do a different video or a complete new video for 1.3 handshake uh, 1.2 because it's the most widely used uh, SSL uh, basically at this point of time uh, SSL version 3 is out SSL version 2 nobody uses SSL version 3 or 2 in the industry uh, the most widely used probably 90 95 percent uh, of the servers actually support TLS 1.2 at this point of time although TLS 1.3 is in and a lot of uh, servers are supporting TLS 1.3, but still many are still sticking to 1.2. So yeah, so that is why it, we are discussing 1.2 and probably in the later video, we'll discuss about 1.3. Cool. So let's get rid of this. So I'm not telling you what is SSL right and why we do we use it because that, that involves a lot of history of IT. Probably you can just go and read it, right? Yeah. Okay. So. So suppose you have a client server over here and you have a web server right that is providing some application over SSL right or TLS I mean I'll change use this term interchangeably so don't get confused right so suppose on this I open a browser and try to access HTTPS say www.abc.com which is hosted over this server right so the first message after all the DNS resolution and everything has happened completed uh, TCP handshake completed the first message for TLS handshake that goes in is from the client which is client hello in this the client tells the TLS version it wants to connect over right so in this case it will be TLS 1.2 it will give a list of ciphers or cipher suites so we'll talk about what are cipher suites and it will also send a random number or random key you can call it right we can just call it client random right in response to client hello what server does is it sends back a server hello and in this the first thing it sends is the SSL cert it has right it sends the public key right it selects the cipher suite from this list so it sends back the cipher that it is going to uh, basically use right and it tells the SSL or TLS version it supports TLS it supports right all right so client when it receives this SSL cert it uses the CA bundle on its maybe you can call maybe browser right so CA bundle which is embedded in the browser it will take that and verify this SSL cert sent from the server to authenticate the server like to be sure that server it is who it says it is right so it authenticates it uh, with the ca bundle uh, embedded in its browser or in its basically in 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 client right so all right so once it has authenticated the server uh, the next thing it does it creates a pre master key right and it encrypts that pre-master key with this public key which it got from the server right and then it uh, and yeah uh, where is it yeah okay oh I thought I lost it <laughs> so yeah it creates a pre-master key encrypts it with the public key of the server and in this I message I forgot one thing that server also sends a random key right or a random number 
which you can call server uh, server random yeah it, it's called server random so client random and server random right all right so once the pre master key is created and encrypted with the public key of uh, server the client sends this pre master key to the server on the server now what do my client and server have so my client has client random server random and pre master key right and same thing are on my server as well so it has the client random server random and pre master key so pre master key it decrypts with its private key right so this the server decrypts the pre master key with its private key and it gets the pre master key so now what both of these server and client do is that they run an algorithm which is selected from the cipher suite they have selected and generate a session key and this session key once it is generated the bot sends a fin message like client sends a fin message which is like it has finished the handshake similarly uh, server sends a fin message that it has finished the handshake and it is ready to send the data and client it's like it's like saying that it is ready to receive the data so now when they are ready to receive the data the server sends the data to the client and encrypts the data with the session key right and similarly when when client receives this data it decrypts this data with the session key so this is how basically your ssl handshake completes i mean your ssl handshake completes when there are fin message or finish message exchange between client and server then you have the data transfer basically so this i mean in this you can see that we the ssl 1.2 basically makes use of uh, ta both symmetric and asymmetric uh, encryption so symmetric encryption where they are using the same key for encryption and decryption and asymmetric encryption is where the server i mean where the client is first encrypting the pre master key with the public key of uh, server and then the server decrypting it with its private key so they are all they are using private and public key as well as uh, basically a common key or a, a, symmet a symmetric key for data encryption so you can see both kind of encryptions are involved when you are doing a tls 1.2 handshake so yes now i mean once this is done your data is being exchanged you have you can see the data is encrypted using session key and your client and master i mean if anyone even in say someone is able to do a man in the middle attack right so even if he gets the data the data would be gibberish for him because he won't have the session key so unless and until the hacker gets the session key the data is actually gibberish for him so man in the middle attack actually is completely fail even if if they are able to intercept your data right so yep so this is it for this video i think you probably got a little understanding of tls 1.2 how it happens right this is a most commonly asked question in interviews so probably it will help you so just remember the messages which are exchanged client hello server hello then there's an authentication from the client end then the pre master key generated sent to the server encrypted by the public key of the server the server decrypts it using its private key and then they run the algorithm defined by the cipher suites and they generate a common session key for data encryption right so this is it for this video guys i hope you like the video please do subscribe to the channel before leaving and thank you for watching